morning YouTube day two Fort Wilderness has been amazing so far still haven't done a single theme park we're doing one today we're doing Magic Kingdom I'm going to try and sneak over to the poly and get the name tags done the little ID badges so we're gonna try for that today um, other than that we're just gonna go with the flow there's extra magic tonight at Magic Kingdom from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Hopefully I make it. What I might end up doing is just dipping out after Splash, so. Uh-oh, there's somebody coming out here. Oh, look who it is. We, we all just woke up, so. Yeah, that's our plan. All right, so we're taking a quick walk over to the swimming pool figured we we're sitting out there it was getting a little warm so I figure now's a good time to head on over to the swimming pool heading on over to the swimming pool one really cool thing I just found out if you need to do laundry here there's a laundry here just go through in here and there are many washers and dryers at your disposal very cool stuff. Remember, I got spoiled at OQS because we had a washer and dryer in our in our villa, but I got one right there. Nice. And right now, I am literally the only one in this pool. This is one of the smaller pools. There's a main pool out front, but this one's really good for like adults. They have a little accessible entranceway, and then. There's all this stuff. There's like vending machines and stuff over here, bathrooms. Oh, one thing. So these trash cans. These are these are the only time I've ever seen these trash cans. So you actually have to go in here and pull. Oh, you have to like push the button and then open it up. This is the only time you'll see these. And the main reason is because there are a lot of like wildlife and stuff around so that way they don't go in and dig through the trash can so yeah it's bear saver very cool stuff so it's about noon right now we are actually heading to the magic kingdom we're gonna take a little ferry boat which we have to go off of one of these bus stops over there take that to the back and that's where we get the boat to go to the magic kingdom um, I'm not gonna be there too long initially. Uh, we're doing the Diamond Horseshoe for lunch today, which I've never been, so I'm kinda excited about that. And then we are gonna be doing Splash Mountain. It's, we're pretty much gonna be taking over the whole boat, so the <laughs> ride photos should be pretty, pretty epic. I'm gonna see if I can get some footage on there, but I don't know. I don't know how this, I don't know how well this tripod will work, so. Cross my fingers. Also, one thing you may notice that I'm wearing an Orlando Magic jersey. It's got number 626 on there. I don't know how well it's going to translate. It might be like mirrored on here, but do you know you can actually get these jerseys for free? So, if you're a pass holder, if you're whether you're a new pass holder or you're just renewing, all you have to do is go to the am to the gift shop at the Amway Center in downtown and they have a little Disney kiosk there and you can actually renew your passes or get new ones there and they give you a voucher for a free jersey if you want it customized you just pay 20 bucks that's what that's what we did for this one I have about three of these now I have a stitch one I have a white one which is a haunted mansion one it's got 999 and ghost host on the back and then, since I'm actually a Magic fan, I got an Aaron Gordon one, which that one was free because it's a player that's currently on the team. They, I know our passes were new soon. They have new ones. They have like the black ones, which, I'm, and they got the throwback ones too, which I'm hoping to get because I want to I wanna throw back Shaquille O'Neal jersey. So, food for thought. She's Snapchatting our walk. I was. To the bus that we're taking the to the settlement now. I don't know if we can, 
I would, probably wouldn't have crossed through there just to be on the safe side. There might be bears. Yeah, there might be bears. We don't know. But that's where the bus thing is. Yeah, I know. I want to cross through there. Okay, we'll cross through there. I guess we're going to cross through there. So this is our bus. Might be a little loud. But we are heading towards the settlement. This is the 21 Bobcat Band, and Shawnee Band. Screaming child. In the back of the depot, we just got off the bus, heading to the marina to take the boat to the Magic Kingdom. But here's Pioneer Hall. This is where they do hoop de doo review and also Trails End is around here as well. Seating time is for 6.15 and 8.30. All you can eat homestyle vittles. That's what the sign says. So yeah, there's, oh, and there's someone on the Segway. That's what's up. And then there's more golf carts over here on this side. It's a nice little brisk walk. And this will take you all the way. Oh, there's even a little bar over here. Crockett's Tavern, beer, wine, and cocktails. That might be something to think about, especially after today. There's everybody on our segways. Hello. This is so cute over here. Oh, and there's a trading post in the back, too. We may want to check that out for our surprise later, too. So, we shall see. So, I stopped at the trading the outpost to see if they had any of the id stations but they don't so we may have to ride over to either the contemporary or the poly today so so we are heading over on the marina to the magic kingdom i don't know if you can see it from here at all hello I don't know if you can see it here from here at all. But it looks like there's a lot of people already waiting to go to the Magic Kingdom. That's for sure. Might be very hard to hear me. But that's where we just departed from. I feel like we're literally sitting on the engine. But we are on route to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, so this is happening right now. We just got off the boat and it just started pouring. So we're gonna try and wait this out a little bit and then make our way into the Magic Kingdom. So it's very wet here at the Magic Kingdom. It just finished pouring and judging by them tarping everything up, it's probably gonna start pouring again. So this is gonna be fun. And just like that, Main Street USA clears out the joys of rain. streets back to jumping it's I mean it's still raining but it's not been terrible tonight so we are hightailing it over to the diamond horseshoe I was able to actually move up a reservation from 210 to 140 so the main reason we're going over there is because they have a discount right now for annual pass holders go there for lunch get 20% off it's pretty sweet 
So this is where we're dining, the Diamond Horseshoe. This place is so cute. It reminds me of a place in Disney. I can't think of the name in Disneyland. If anybody can remember it, um, post it in the comments. But it was, I guess it was a restaurant that like Walt used to eat in a lot. So I don't know if it's the same or different, but yeah, this place is awesome. And I am starving, I can't wait to eat. And that's the menu. When you come here for lunch, um, everything looks, honestly, everything looks amazing. I cannot wait to order and eat and just enjoy all of this. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what we got. Yes. Got grilled chicken, cornbread, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Looks phenomenal. So we just left time in the horseshoe. It was amazing. But yeah, as you can see, it's still raining. Don't think we're really gonna make it on Splash, but... Oh, well, at least the Liberty Boat is running and the horn hasn't gone off yet. Because that just... Oh, it's the worst. Fun fact, that's actually the train horn that's on the Liberty Bell right now, so... So yeah, this weather sucks. It has been raining pretty much the whole time we've been here. It sat for a little bit while we were eating and then just as we left, it started raining again. Right now it's not raining, which is good. So we're gonna head out by Small World, meet up with Richard. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna bounce from here. We're gonna go work on our surprise. And then, yeah, we'll see where the evening takes us. No magic, extra magic is here till 1 a.m. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it or not. I guess it depends on how I feel. Like, cause I don't wanna overextend myself and end up feeling crappy super late. And then, especially since I managed to move our sci-fi reservation. All right, so decided to ditch out on Fill Our Magic. I'm not a really a huge fan of it. Although, what I am a huge fan of, that view of the castle though. That's what's up. So we're heading back. I'm gonna try and see maybe if the line is short enough for Tinkerbell. Maybe we can get Tinkerbell to record a little message for us for Saturday. I don't know though. But we definitely have to stop by her exit because there's those the name badges that I wanna get. And they have the exact ones that I want too. Oh, Main Street looks busy as all fuck right now. Probably everybody trying to either leave or... Wow, this camera work is horrible right now. I do apologize. But actually, I've never walked through this way before, to be honest. Yeah, it seems like almost every time I walk through here, it's closed for some reason. But there's... The wishing well right over here which is very cool and everybody's got to get their picture in front of it so when you walk through this way it puts you out right in front of cosmic rays so we have to go over down yonder to get back to main street and then we're gonna hop on that boat take us back to fort wilderness then hop on a bus to drop us off right in front of our cabin and then I get to get some much needed relaxation right now. There it is. As we leave the Magic Kingdom head back to Port, or to Port Orleans, to Fort Wilderness, because we have the wildest cabin in the wilderness. The weather is much better than that, that, that. Can't talk today. The weather is much nicer now than it was when we got here. That's for sure. 
see a lot of blue skies. Woo! We're sitting in the front of the boat today instead of the very back. So, if we get into any rain, oh, that's gonna be. This is a rather brisk little stroll in the boat. It's very relaxing now. There's a conductor right behind us. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. This is really, really cool. Okay, so I'm back at the resort now. I'm putting together the surprise now. So I got these tags. Actually, I'll show them to you. So we got, so these were the collars that we got yesterday. So we got a red one and we got a purple one, both cat collars. They have like these little jingly things on them too. This made it really hard for me to actually bring them into the cabin because they would make so much noise. I had to walk in so fucking slow to get, to get in here, but um, I got these tags. So as soon as I get one on, see, so now it's got a little Mickey charm on there. And this one is for, let me clean that up a little bit. This one is for Franklin. And then the other one, this one is for Howard. And I'm sure I've told the story already about them, but just in case, if I haven't, um, there you go. So now that's the Howard one. It's so cute. There's a little Mickey on it. So in case you didn't, if I didn't tell the story already, um, essentially they were found on the Howard Franklin Bridge in Tampa. Like it connects Tampa and St. Pete. And they had, somebody had found them and they brought them over to North Bay, to the animal hospital. Um, or I think it was like somebody's like, or a friend of somebody who works at the, or one of the vets or the animal hospital or something. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but they had, they had brought them over there. So <clears throat> the day after or the day we went to go pick them or pick up the cage that we brought Desi in when we brought her that day when we had to put her down <clears throat> they talked like the vet techs talked about how they adopted kittens and all that and they had six <clears throat> including Howard and Franklin they weren't ready to go home yet but they said it was going to be a little while so <clears throat> the entire day when we get back all she's doing is just talking about how cute these kittens are and how much she wanted them. So the next day, her mom and her aunt decide to go to, back to the animal hospital and adopt them. So, but she wanted to wait because she didn't want to like get the cats and then us have to leave for five days especially since they'd be like kind of adjusting and all that so so essentially we're gonna pick them up on Sunday so I'm like well let's have a little fun with this so that's why I had the idea of kind of doing a reveal here at Disney so I swear to god if I'm like I know they're at Magic Kingdom right now and I'm thinking myself I'm like wow I'm speaking really loud and if she's out there then I just all this work that just goes to shit so so we got this little box here I got this box at the middle trading post so we're gonna keep them in here I'm gonna see if I can sneak this on Saturday into Epcot and give it to the people at the one of the visa meet and greets because that one is always like super like super dead so I'm gonna see if I can sneak this in and then do the reveal there 
I'm going to record it. Don't know if that's going to go on the Saturday vlog or if I'm going to do... I'm probably just going to end up just putting it on the Saturday vlog and then doing a separate vlog for when we actually pick up the cats. That's probably what I was going to do. Because originally, I was going to do one, a separate vlog for the entire process. And then, because I was going to go after my doctor's appointment on Monday. But when we left, it was raining so hard. I'm like, I... I don't want to deal with it. I just want to go home and kind of do that. So, um, yeah. So, we are ready to go. So, I think it's going to be the end of day two, like, in terms of the vlog. Uh, I know there wasn't a lot today. Um, but I feel like we got a lot done. Uh, tomorrow is definitely going to be a lot more action-packed because we're going to Hollywood Studios, we're going to Sci-Fi, hopefully ride some Slinky Dog, and then we're going to have a cookout here at the cabin. So, super excited. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, if you enjoy my videos, you can always like, click, subscribe, hit that little bell notification, that way you know when I go live. Um, as always, you can always catch me on stream, hopefully when I get back. Uh, links are at the bottom as well. So in the meantime, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.